we're just walking along talking about oh, oh my gosh so many beautiful rocks Everybody, it's Kate from Katie Did, and I am here with Theo Kellison and my drone pilot, <laughs> my husband Jim. And uh, we are at Piero Island State Park, and we're going to go see if we can find some rocks. Come along. So, my plan today is to look mostly at the silt rocks. Um, I'm not quite on the main gravel bar yet, but I definitely, I, I looked at the clean rocks the last time I was here because I didn't have my magic squirt bottle. And so I'm going to try looking hunting at silt. I really, I really want to improve my silt hunting skills. So here we go. I'm trying very hard not to start my day out by picking up gigantic pieces, which then have to be hauled around. But this one is so pretty and agatized. And it called to me, so guess what? It's going in my backpack. Yeah, I know I said I was going to search for the silt-covered rocks, but I do have to cross the clean ones in order to get there, so I just thought I'd pick up a little agate on the way. That's a fun one. Almost chunky. That's different. Uh-oh different and bigger than it looks. Okay. Huh. Looks like it's some weird nodule with kind of a quartz on the interior. I'm gonna take that home just because it's different. I am totally going the wrong direction to hunt this beach because my shadow, as you can see, is in front of me. So I'm going to walk down to the end and then probably try to come back, see if I can see what I missed because of the shadow. Kava has three people to look after right now. Uh, we're kind of triangulated on this big beach, so she's having to run back and forth between all three of us, which is good because she definitely needs the exercise. This is very interesting. This is, I can't decide if it's chert or agate, chagate, but I'm gonna bring it home. All right, this is super, super cool. This is just a piece of chert slash jasper, but it has fossils in it. And Theo Kellison, who is with me here today, was telling me about this when we were last up at Bear Canyon. But this is the first really excellent example I've seen of it. This was just sticking up out of the dirt here. I could only see a teeny weeny, oh my gosh. I could only see a teeny weeny little bit of it. But this is this beautiful, beautiful, let me wash it off a little bit better for you. Seam agate, I guess. Whoa, look at that. Isn't that pretty? 
close it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that must have made you so happy. Oh yeah, I was squealing. Only thing I found in the silt other than Jasper, but man oh man, was it a good way to start the day. Yeah, I'd say so. Ay, ay, ay. Ay. What is that? I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's got like... Oh, that's crazy. That is so cool. It's like brecciated agate? <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Well, that was worth walking here. Uh, yeah, I'd say. Wow, look at that. It's a piece of jasper, but it just has kind of these plumes in it. Check this out, Theo. Oh, I guess we both have show and tells right now. I gotta show you this too. Oh, that's a beautiful agate. Look at that moss agate. My goodness. Ooh, oh, in so the sun, cool. put it in the sunshine, oh, can't see oh, it? There we go. <laughs> oh, that is really pretty. That is a really nice and one. And then, yeah, look at the, look at the plumes <laughs> on that. That is gorgeous. Sweet. Well, I just sat here for 30 seconds or so debating with myself about whether I was really going to haul home this piece of petrified wood because it's, you know, bigger than I want to carry. Not huge, huge, but it's bigger. But of course I am. Just of course. It's just so, it's so swirly-whirly, as I like to say. It's just really interesting. Like, it's either agatized wood or it's like this super metamorphosed jasper. That is really cool. That's neat. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm going to take it home. I was just fighting with my backpack and uh, trying to put something in it, and it made me stop and kind of kneel down. And I just found this cool little agate while I was while I was being mad about my backpack. So see, it's always worth stopping. So we're just walking along, talking about oh, oh my gosh, we're walking along, talking about how we need to uh, need to get going because I'm supposed to be somewhere at five. And there's this this green chunk of jasper in the sand, and of course it's a little bit wedged in here. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. What in the world? <laughs> I've never seen anything like I it. I haven't either. Oh my gosh, look, it's just like, it's like there's agate stuff here and this beautiful green. Oh my oh gosh, goodness. that is just crazy. That might be the most unique Jasper I've ever seen. Kava, you're in my son, baby. <laughs> you're in my son, you're you are. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, and look at the bands. That is the coolest thing. Well, that was worth wow. it. And just a few steps away from that crazy Jasper Ooh, is a nice really one. nice piece of chalcedony. I don't know if it's got any banding in it or anything, but oh, that's a pretty one. it's nice and shiny, clear. I like it. It's a good day, Theo. Oh, yeah, it is. Any day rock hounding is a good day. So we are headed back in the direction we came and I am going into the sun this time, which is a big help. And Theo just found a monster agate. Like the first thing he found was this gorgeous monster agate in the silt. So now I'm jealous and I got to find one. <laughs> I would say that is chunky oh, yeah. oh that's pretty it's <laughs> pretty i'm totally gonna do it i'm gonna write a chunky song and i'm gonna get a chunky sweatshirt <laughs> you gotta see this just a little piece of kill sydney oh no theo's got oh, something gosh. awesome look at the knot in this thing ah! that's so oh cool. my god that's so cool oh my god 
gosh. That is just gorgeous. Oh, wow. I love the wood in this area. It is so awesome. That is very good. Here. Good job, Theo. <laughs> Now I got so Theo and I were just talking about how the agatized wood, the wood around here is almost all agatized, and that means it's filled with a harder kind of silica than uh, than just plain old dirt, <laughs> plain old minerals. I don't know. I don't even know what the, the word is, but this one is almost. I mean, you could almost say it's an agate. It's just so so agaty. I love those ones. Man, and you can see the growth rings in the end. Oh man, of course this one's coming home with me. Hey, you've got a piece of petrified wood. You wanna wash it up? So this is just a piece of, just, this is a piece of agatized wood that has some beautiful, beautiful growth rings. Oh, I just love that. Well, we are going to head back because we have to, we have to be able to make it back to where we live by five. It won't stop, Kate. And Theo has the petrified wood disease that I often suffer from. I can't stop. And, <laughs> They're so and nice. his backpack is, his backpack <laughs> is getting way too full. Yeah. So I'm glad, better him than me, right? See what happens when you head into the sun? Shiny, shiny, shiny. Ah, it's just a little one, but it was shiny. Jim just found this gorgeous piece of agatized wood. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <gasps> oh man. Oh, it's so hard and shiny. That is beautiful. Oh man, that's so well, mine cool. doesn't look like anything. Look at you. You're a rock hound. <laughs> oh, it's October 3rd, and I just could not ask for a nicer day. It's in the mid 60s, the sun is shining, the leaves are turning, and the geese are singing. And I'm just going back after a great day of rock hounding with my honey. That's me. Because he's so sweet. Well, thanks for coming along. This was super fun. I always like to go out hounding with Theo. Check out his channel, Theo Kellison. Uh, we also have Etsy stores. His is Sticks and Stones 406. Yep. And mine is Katie Did Rocks. We will have stuff listed on there as well. So thanks for coming along. This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing. Hi, everybody. It's Kate. I wanted to talk to you about some opportunities for supporting this channel. If you enjoy these videos, there's several ways that you can help me out. Uh, one of them is just subscribing. Subscribing, likes, comments, shares, all of those make a big difference in the YouTube algorithm. If you want to support this channel financially, you can either go shopping at Katie Did Rocks on Etsy or look at my new channel membership page. The channel memberships you can just click the button that says join right down below next to the subscribe button. Thanks!